Well, the FBI announced that Taylor Dijak of Chicopee, also known as the Route 91 bandit, was apprehended yesterday. 22 News reporter Alana Flood joined us live in studio with what we know about this case, Alana. Yes, Dijek was dubbed the Route 91 bandit by the FBI because he is accused of 14 robberies, stealing more than $137,000 from banks. As you can see on this map right here, running all along the I-91 corridor in Massachusetts, Connecticut, Vermont, and New Hampshire. It was in this quiet Chicopee neighborhood where the alleged I-91 bandits multi-state bank robbing spree came to an end. A string of 14 robberies at banks and credit unions that started in September of 2021 and ended in August of 2022. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, the FBI, along with state and local law enforcement, had been investigating this multi-state crime spree. It was after Dijak was identified as a suspect in the robbery of a People's United Bank in Connecticut in May that things started to gel for law enforcement. According to the FBI, Dijak left paper money wrappers behind, which became evidence. It was here at the casino in October. The FBI was surveilling Dijak and found DNA evidence on a beverage he was drinking, linking him to a crime scene. Dijek was arrested on Thursday at his home here in Chicopee and taken into custody by the FBI. The FBI complaint states laboratory analysis linked the DNA taken from the beverage to the DNA on the paper money wrappers left behind at the People's United Bank robbery in May. Neighbors we spoke to said that Dijek, 30, was quiet and kept to himself. That really shocked me. It's like you never know who you, who people are until all the police cars <laughs> line up. You don't know who you live with until you see all this happening. Dijek appeared in federal court in Hartford yesterday. A spokesperson from the U.S. Attorney's Office said he was ordered detained and the investigation remains ongoing. Working for you, Alana Flood, 22 News.